Hi all. Um, today we're going to read Psalm 112, verse um, 7 and 8. And um, we're going to take this from the New Living Translation tonight. And it says here, They do not fear bad news. They, referring to the righteous or the godly, they do not fear bad news. They confidently trust the Lord to care for them. They are confident and fearless and can face their foes triumphantly. Let me read that again. They, referring to the righteous and the godly, they do not fear bad news. They confidently trust the Lord to care for them. They are confident and fearless and can face their foes triumphantly. You know, um, a while ago I was listening to the news or watching the news on TV and um, um, and you may know this by now if you've been aware, um, if you've been told already, there are a lot of provinces right now who are, which are crippled um, because of uh, the floodings and, and the heavy rains that were caused by the recent storms that struck the country. Um, and and uh, if we're not careful, you know, I was, I was sitting there, I was watching the television and, and um, you know, and, and there was an upcoming news that there were a lot more storms that are coming and entering our uh, uh, area of responsibility. And if we're not careful... Um, we'd be focusing on the storms. We'd be focusing on on what's uh, what the news tell us, and and it's not really uh, good news. And um, if we're not careful, we'd be we'd be uh, we'd be paralyzed with fear, and instead of reacting positively, we'd be we'd be crippled with fear. Um, so today, I just want to encourage us all, especially um, uh, you guys who are who are you know um, watching the news and hearing about. Uh, the not so good things that be, that's been happening in the country. I want to encourage you to just um, meditate on this promise uh, that says we will not fear bad news. Instead, we will trust the Lord to care for us. We will be confident and we will be fearless. And we know that with God on our side, we can face uh, the storms of life triumphantly and overcome them. So um, the best way to react is this. I just want to encourage you guys, if, if you guys are involved with your, with your churches, are involved in um, in um, coming up with projects to actually help out uh, our brothers and sisters who were um, uh, who are victims of the storms. Please get involved. Um, uh, save up, you know. Uh, maybe for one day, you know, you you uh, you save money just so you could contribute and, and do something uh, for for the victims. Um, get involved, help out. Um, if if you're free, you know, you could you could uh, join. A team that could uh, you link yourself up with a team that's gonna go and, and help uh, the victims of the storms be there um, just just um, use everything you have uh, be part of a relief team be part of, of or whatever just 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 uh, let's react positively uh, let's let's do the, the the most godly thing to do and right now is that is to help and and support our brothers and sisters who are badly in need so um instead of fear let's let's choose to be productive let's choose to be creative let's choose to be let's let's react positively and um instead of uh, allowing fear to cripple us and paralyze us let us let us just help try our best to be a blessing to others so that's my encouragement for you today uh road tripper uh you know god has protected us god has uh got us uh kept us safe and uh please do not fear God is with us, and um, while God is continually blessing us and protecting us, let us not forget that we have brothers and sisters who badly needs our help. So let us be extension of let us be an extension of God's grace and God's kindness to our brothers and sisters. Please uh, make your life count today. Support, link up, uh, look for foundations or or churches or, or organizations uh, that are busy right now, uh, coming up with projects. Um, that would be supporting uh, the victims of the storm. So please do it right now or today and uh, be a blessing to others. God bless you, Road Chipper. I hope you have a good one.